Welcome back to my writing studio. Today is a very chill writing day. I have finally caught up with my word count. I have about four chapters left and then I'll be done with this draft and I'm so excited. I'm itching to start planning for revisions and I feel I'm rushing through these last few chapters and these are crucial they are the climax chapters so i want to take my time and calm myself down <laughs> i'm so glad i did this cleared my schedule to write i have about two more weeks before i go back to my regular schedule and one of the things that's on top of my to-do list is to reply to emails. I have received a lot of emails over the last few months and even though I read them almost immediately, I don't reply back immediately because I have been on such a strict deadline that I couldn't spend any time away from my writing. Also, I want to take my time and reply to your emails. I don't want to copy paste emails or have a very generic reply to your email. I feel I have to honor your time. You've taken time out of your schedule, your life to write to me and it does not feel right to me to just reply something very bland and generic. I want to put in some thought into what I'm writing back to you. So please know that I'm not ignoring you. I just want to take my time to reply to your emails and I'll be writing to you very soon. The other thing that I'm really looking forward to is reading. For the past two and a half, three months, I was on such a strict deadline that I couldn't spend any time for leisurely work, especially reading. And I'll talk a little bit about reading and why it is important a little later. But right now, it's time to write. I started writing this chapter. I'm about a third of the way through. So I'm hoping to finish this chapter in the sprint and hopefully start the next chapter or at least start reading the outline of the next chapter. So that's what I'll be working on. What will you be working on? Let me know in the comments below. You know the drill, I have the timer set. Sit back, relax, enjoy the music, and let's start writing.
I finished the chapter and went through the outline again just just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. How did you do? I get a lot of emails, messages and comments uh, for tips on writing and I've talked about it in the previous videos. I feel I am not qualified to talk about how to write. It's because I feel I'm still learning and I haven't reached a level where I feel I can tell other people on how to write. But what I have done in the past and which is what I would continue to do is share the things that have helped me to write better and improve my writing craft. And one of the things that really helps is reading. I don't remember where I read it or who has said this. But I read somewhere or I heard somewhere that if you don't read, you don't have any business writing or something to that effect. And I can understand why this person says something like this. We can learn so much from just reading books, not just what is written about the book, but also how the book is written. And you can learn from all types of books and all types of authors, the good ones as well as the bad ones. I know I've shared this in another video that I like to reread some of my favorite books or books that have really entertained me or engaged me with whatever the book is about. And I reread them because I want to see how it is written, why it is so engaging and basically break it down and analyze it. And I enjoy doing that. So if there is a book that you have really resonated with or has touched you at some emotional level, pick that book up and see how it is written. Spend some time rereading the book and not as a reader, but instead as an author. What I like to do is look at the opening scene, the first three chapters, look at the structure of the story and I go through the beats that are mentioned in Save the Cat Writes the Novel book and try to identify those in each book. The past few times that I have reread a book, I have paid special attention to how A story and B story intertwine that was very intentional because I know that was one of the issues that I was having with my current manuscript in the earlier drafts. I love dissecting books this way. I find that this is one of the best ways that I have been implementing or I have been understanding what I've been learning through the various books that I'm reading or through the workshops that I'm taking. Whatever I learn in these books and workshops. I read a novel, a non-fiction or a fiction book and try to see how these things that are taught, how they are actually executed and implemented in the stories that are written by the authors that I like and I like to read. And that's one of the things that you can actually learn from by reading. Whether you like to read fiction books or non-fiction books, just pick up a book that you really like and dissect it and see how it's written and structured and how you can implement those techniques and those tools in your writing and in your work. I feel when I'm in the writing phase, I don't get as much time to read. And so that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to once I finish writing, I want to take a little break and read some other books. But for now, let's get back to writing. You can watch this playlist for videos on self-publishing or if you need a writing buddy, click on this playlist. And I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.